You know, I kind of wish it was because Ash was really fun. <laughs> I love playing Ash. Um, oh, she's a DLC, right? What does she do? Uh, she's just like a mid-range rifle. Oh, that's cool. I always liked uh, Anna. Is that her name? Yeah, the, uh, the healer. I always liked her. She's so cool. She was overpowered at one point. Was she? Oh, so overpowered. Oh, my God. <laughs> but whatever. We're back with Kira Flex. Kira Flex. More plant gang? Kira Flex. Yeah. Plant Flex. Oh, boy. Okay, so we got we got to see a little Piranha Plant swag. That's nice. Did he change his name? Cybot. Cybot. Okay. Now, is this a Kira Flex pick? Because this is pretty consistent. Game one, Yoshi's. Game one, Yoshi's. Um, I'm not sure. He usually doesn't start. I don't think he starts this stage when he's playing Pit or Rob. No. So it might just be like exclusive to the Plant Gang. Yo, I really like these nares. It looks like they do auto cancel because he's just doing them on these platforms. It's no problem whatsoever. Oh, whiffing that forward smash. You're gonna get grabbed for that, buddy. Oh, Good even nair. punishing with the nair, yeah, catching the recovery. Oh wow, that uh, lingering hitbox on that down air looking pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never be afraid to hit land a sour spot. They actually can land uh, some pretty nice little follow-ups afterwards. Oh, he had prime position for that for a down air and just like, or even a forward air. Pretty much any option, just, just going so far off because Careflex was like a sitting duck at mm -hmm. that point. I just saw uh, Falco back air the the Patui and oh, and he's reflecting it. Very good stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe a, a dash attack is horrible. <laughs> yeah, that dash attack. Is, oh, oh, good challenge, but did not did not wall jump at the correct time. I saw something drop like a brick, and I just assumed it was Kira. Uh, he. Looked like uh, Cybot just miss misspaced the down air. Yeah. No, I like that recovery. <laughs> he just angled it. It's like, oh, I'm gonna go more forward than I already am. Nope. Psych. Good dash attack. Yeah, Kierflex definitely at a kill percent. Oh, good reflect. Yeah, this Cybot has some pretty uh, decent reflexes. Yeah, but using the illusion a little bit too much at the ledge, and not. Okay, so you can reflect her the the poison cloud. Good to know. Good yeah. to know. Oh, just letting it drop. That is really well spaced, but protecting the forward smash to our face. Mm -hmm. Kira Flex dropping his first stock in this set. Mm -hmm. Okay, rapid jab. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> as soon as he charged, like, you're not going to land that, are you? He did. Yeah, get bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, not again. Good nair. Very good to uh, cover your behind up, and I like it. Forward air, too, I like. Jab. Yeah. Solid 40%? No, that's not going to work. Nah, this lands. Oh, that worked, though. Oh, such a good catch with that poison, too. Okay, so it looks like you can only have one ball out. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it has a hitbox. Uh, even breaking the grab right there. He just held it. He just held it in the air. I just, I respect just shoot it. him. I respect it. Shoot him. Yeah. Shoot her. <laughs> you talking about Falco? No, oh, Prime Plant's a girl. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, what are we going to see? What's the ledge option you could be? Oh, he jumps. Yeah. It looks like those slants kind of mess with uh, some player's heads. Good reflect. I was expecting to see a, a getup attack uh, jumping onto the stage. Okay. Oh, no. Don't let it happen to you. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Very close. Uh, I thought we were going to see a back air from Falco there. Okay. Yeah, shoulder check in with the forward to throw. Mm -hmm. oh, Covering high. A, yep. yeah, great awareness. Just uh, scoping out which way the Kiraflex is going to be recovering. But up throw is a kill throw. That is a really plus 150%. That's an so. awful death stream, by the way. To see you run, just getting chomped on and then you die. I mean, if you grew up playing Super Mario, you're used to that site. I am no good at Super Mario. <laughs> Not at all. All right, so Careflex taking that game pretty convincingly. I mean, it was it was close. He was down to his last stock. Mm. Uh, I think with just a couple more adjustments, Cybot will be able to just continue like challenging Careflexes, especially off stage. That's where sure he really oh, needs wow. to uh, push his agenda and just get. All, all like a more percent while Careflex is trying to recover. Yeah. Because outside of his side B, he, he doesn't really have any options to, to get back to stage. This might this stage might be a bit better for Cybot because he doesn't have to worry about the slants kind of messing with the psyche. Uh, so let's see if he changes anything up. 
Because, I mean, honestly, uh, Piranha Plant's recovery is pretty exploitable. Just hit the head. Okay, who cares? Uh, was, Firebird, yeah, going to be able to get you back to ledge. The thing I want to see, we're not seeing a lot of, a lot of nares coming out from Cybot. That's a good tool for him to use. Yeah, that is. It really is. I mean, I'm, it's pretty safe, I believe, on shield at max distance. Yo, oh, I don't know fire. what he's trying to do, but <laughs> it's not going to work. He's trying to style. Uh, back here a little late, uh, but he was able to get a little bit of shield pressure on there. Mm -hmm, but a good down tilt for uh, punishing your wish. That double jump was questionable from Taco. Good reflex. Oh, yeah. Now, Pure Flex is just looking for some, uh, trying to knock, uh, Falco off stage with that back air. It's funny, the spacing and just, like, the, the movement he was doing at that that moment, that little instance, that's really, uh, really shows, like, he's showing his pit. <laughs> because that's exactly what he would do as pit. That entire interaction was just, like, Pure Flex playing pit. Run back, back air, back air, back air. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would do that, too. Oh, wow, he's able to get a grab off of that. Okay, yeah. Cybot's probably breathing a sigh of relief. He's not taking any more damage than that stock. Oh, good up tilt. That is such a good AA. Okay, good side B. Got a little uh, fortunate that that all landed the way that it did. Yeah, he probably could have gotten another up tilt uh, from catching Careflex from falling in. And then... Okay. Oh, forward smash. Oh, the last time he whipped that forward smash, he got a nice little grab for it. Good nair. Oh, that sent him in such a horrible trajectory. It did, but Kiraflex wasn't able to really set up trap for it. Yeah. Oh, 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 chasing down, but if you don't get the sweet spot, doesn't really matter against Piranha Plant. Oh, yeah. Not realizing that he had a ball out already. And that oh. forward air looked well intentioned, but I'm surprised no hits landed there. Good nair. Very In good instead of chasing up so high, uh, Kiraflex is just like committing to using his up B and going high. Just find out where he's gonna land. Yep. Just, show, just see where where he's drifting and then punish his landing instead of trying to chase so high up. Oh, oh my god! He almost ate. <laughs> Any taunts? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I, I I'm on the same boat with you there. Definitely got to wait it out a bit more because Gearflex is basically just getting away from the ever. Yeah, just like doing these insane recoveries that he shouldn't be able to get away with, mm. but getting double jab lock with laser. Yeah, that's a good 10% right there. And a good positional advantage too for Saibot. Now he has the neutral, he has the mid stage, not anymore. Oh, that back air, yeah. Just getting baited into those back airs. He just continues to, to dash attack or throw out something that's unsafe around Gearflex's back air. That was a good reflect though from uh, Saibot. Hey, good forward so wow. That really sent him off. Okay, here we go. That's that's the moment I'm talking about. He, just find out where he's going to be landing. He's not threatening you. Yeah. Just punish him. He went for a two frame there. Okay, good down air. Oh, but the follow-up gonna be he's just chasing and Careflex just tried to strike the landing. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Yeah, we got a sweet spot down air. Yeah, we're really fishing for those too. Sorry, got a jet. Got a jet. Uh, Cybot does not look the least bit amused. <laughs> He's like, I just have to fight this annoying plant. I've been fighting this plant all night. <laughs> How many more plants do I have to slay? Too many. Plant Slayer. Uh, this, I mean, this always happens when a new character comes out. I remember. Uh, do you uh, play much Final Fantasy? No. Oh. Uh, nor have I. But there was this character, I forget his name. Oh my god. Noctis? Noctis, yes, thank you. Nothing but Noctis. Is really, oh god. I, I mean, Noctis is a really popular character, though. <laughs> uh, Piranha, Piranha Plant is arguably less popular than Noct yes. Noctis. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Thank>, thankfully. <laughs> Could you imagine if Piranha Plant was just as popular as Noctis? I just I can't. I actually want to live in that future. I want to live in that timeline where there are more Pir Piranha Plant fans than there are Noctis fans. What if there were more Ness fans? Uh, that's that sounds like a bad future. That's not a good. That's the bad line. timeline. Oh. That's the Owl Man timeline. Yeah. All right, hey, looking pretty pretty equal right now. That rapid jab seems to be uh, doing a lot of work for Piranha Plant in general. Mm -hmm. Cybat so very aware that. Um, the, the poison gas is going to be doing damage, so as soon as the poison gas comes out, he only took about 1% and then just got off the ledge. Yeah, I mean, in, in Saibot never really capitalizes off of the down B from Pyroflex whenever he does throw it out. I mean, he doesn't do it a whole lot. It's kind of hard to react to it. Yeah. 
just and then at that point like he might not even like charge it enough to to go the full distance so if you try and punish it and you whiff that could I mean, it essentially just keeps you back in neutral. Yeah. Because uh, there's no way Piranha Plant's going to be able to punish it. No, he's not that fast. Oh! Ooh, getting a little overzealous. Yeah, that, uh, that's kind of what happens. Yep, you got you go for the Haymaker, you go for the the hype play, you might get reversed. Yeah, that happens quite often. Good recovery, too. Trying to land on the platform, it looked like that would have prevented him from getting uh, that forward smash that he caught. He yep. keeps going for it. Like, I, you know? I mean, he's telegraphing that option now. He landed once, and now he must be feeling uh, really, really confident in that option. Yeah. Ooh, now we're uh, now we're getting sledgehammered off the platform too. Okay. Uh, that that up smash. Yeah, you're gonna get a little bit of uh, damage for that one. Oh my God. Uh, the flies. point blank down B. Why not? Point blank bite. I wonder if it's safe. Like, uh, the way that he executed that. Like safe on shield? Uh, maybe. Like safe how? Safe on shield, yeah. Uh, I don't think it is. No, I don't think so either. He just kind of did it. Oh man, Cybot really is trying to go for these, uh, these edge guards. He could be going for more ledge traps and just seeing what Kiriflex is doing. He's not even really giving Kiriflex the time of day to be able to do that. I mean, even, even in that small exchange right there, you could see that Cybot was looking for Kiriflex to push a button. But then Kiriflex is looking for the same exact thing. Yep. They were actually, Cybot was just kind of hopping around Kiriflex while Kiriflex was just sitting in shield. Which, I mean, you're kind of revealing your hand when you do that, so Kira Flax has it. Oh my god, that was such a good catch. Okay, that's... I like these smart plays. Flanking. Looking pretty hype right now. Up throw's not gonna kill just yet. Yeah. Even with a good amount of rage, you still need a little bit more percent. I think if he gets him to 140, then uh, the kill throw, even even after scaling it just a little bit, should be enough. I, I think so, too. It, it looked like he was actually trying to go for it there, too. Yeah. It looks like he's fishing for a grab. Yeah, he just went. Yep, got the pivot grab. Yep. Yeah, we can both see it from a mile away. It's a shame that Cybot did. Oh. Oh, I, was, oh, I, I like he... throwing out the, the neutral B so high up. Oh, hey, jumping up and then just 16% off of that. It doesn't even look like he got hit by it that much. Good nair. Oh, not really getting the back air that uh, Cybot wanted, but he got an up smash to take care of that. Oh, that's right. Good up there, yo, three of them. Okay, can you get more? Oh, missing up that uh, that down beam. Mm -hmm. Now we see the striking coming out from Cybot. Gets a grab, but not able to follow up. He's keeping Kierflex off the ledge, getting about 30%. That's nothing to laugh at. Yeah, not really. Oh, God. Okay, Kierflex is getting way too much off this down, the, the down B. Yeah, now he's starting to use it a lot more because I mean, nothing's really happening whenever Cybot, uh, you know, has to be engaged with it. That's true. But still, he shouldn't be getting this much. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, he could be like throwing out lasers. He doesn't have to be so aggro. Oh, no, no way, really? Yeah, man. The spike ball? It looked like he was trying to hit it back. Something. The spike ball? Yeah, off stage. Oh, Kara Flex! A recovering piranha plant. That's just.